Marine Corps Systems Command is modernizing the tank commander's weapon station on the M1A1 tank by developing a suite of systems that gives tank commanders and their gunners a hunter-killer advantage over their adversaries. The new Abrams Integrated Targeting and Viewing System, Single Handle Commander Tank, and Salute Acute Capability make for a modern trifecta that cuts time for enemy engagement by half while increasing accuracy, range, and lethality on the battlefield. The Abrams Integrated Display and Targeting System, or ADATS, improves thermal and daylight visibility at stable commander weapon stations through state-of-the-art high-definition cameras and permanently mounted color displays. The most significant benefit, the main reason ADAT started, is the color display, said Michael Kreiner, ADAT's project officer at MCSC Armor and Fire Support Systems. Better optics enable commanders to increase identification and detection range while in the tank, which will improve situational awareness. ADATS also has an azimuth indicator that allows the tank commander to identify where his gun is in relation to the vehicle at that moment, by On the legacy system, the tank commander had no situational awareness of where the weapon system is in relationship to the turret. There's currently one set of controls for the stabilized commander's weapon station and another set of controls to operate the turret, Down said. Combining the two handles into one gives the commander a better workspace. The third upgrade to the tank commander's weapon station has yet to be officially named, but the AFSS team currently refers to it as slew to q This new capability enables the tank commander to move the turret, typically controlled by the gunner. And essentially give tank commanders and their gunners a hunter-killer system. AFSS equips Marines with fire support systems, high-mobility artillery rocket systems, expeditionary fire support systems, tank systems, information-related capabilities.